Let's go take care of. Ooh, gotcha. <laughs> nah. <laughs> We need to bring this back another foot, Jay. This is 25, we need to bring it 26. All right, so basically we got a big old patio. Basically coming about 26 feet out to here. And that over there in that corner is gonna come out probably about 20 feet. All this is gonna be concrete. We're gonna do a picture frame, as they call it. Finish here, boom, finish inside the picture frame, a smooth finish along the borders of the picture frame. And we're also going to do this side here, here, that's going to come out about 10 feet. This is a new development. Well, it's been here about 15 years. But normally on new developments, they're pretty much ready to drop forms. We got to take some dirt down here. We got to take some dirt down, probably push it over here. You can tell kind of over in this little valley. It's kind of deep here, so we're going to put some of that dirt here. We're going to add some base rock. We're going to get a sewer box for here. We're going to take this out. He's going to take the door down. We've got the bobcat ready to come in. So we're normally going to come up to here. We're going to come about a foot off the fence in case they got to repair or replace it. Probably going to add some rock there. We got a drainage here. We might incorporate it, might kick it out. See how it's gonna take. Yeah, so that's what we have. Ready to rock and roll, let's get it. So this is part one or maybe a three part series of this project here. You definitely gonna wanna stick around to the end to check out some after pictures of the concrete pour. That's gonna be video number two. And as always, I hope everyone's doing well and staying positive. Yeah, so with any construction project, there's always something that comes up and nothing never goes true to plan. But for the most part, we are hitting on all cylinders. But with this job, we had the attack of the bees. Now, I believe this beehive is a big beehive that was underground here next to the customer's uh, door here. And we put base rock on it. We had some uh, spray we sprayed on it. And these bees just wouldn't go away. We had a couple bee stings. But, you know, it's part of the job here. Even when we poured the concrete, these bees still was hovering around. So I don't know what kind of bees this is. these are. But, you know, it is California, so ain't no telling. Now, if you have any questions or any comments, you can leave those below. I appreciate everybody that has been liking our videos and has been subscribing to the channel. Definitely appreciate that. Um, now, if you're in the Sacramento Bay Area, you know you can hit us up. All our information is below. So sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. We're going to let this video play out a little bit. This is us framing for this concrete pour. It's going to be a uh, picture frame finish here. So check, it. be on the lookout for the next video. I should have that up in the next couple of days. But I would have had it up sooner, but I let the videos record on 4K. So when I came home, I had over 130 gigs of uh, video, so I had to go through that and break it down. So lately, my videos have been about 10, 11 minutes, which is kind of longer than what I like to do, but I've been getting some requests to make them longer, so here you go. Again, any questions, any comments, leave below.
So with any patio or driveway, we for the most part put in base rock. There are gonna be some instances where you don't need the base rock because the ground is pretty compact or it's pretty solid for the most part. But for the most part, we do add base rock. Here we added about seven yards of base rock and we also compact it. Now you can think of uh, base rock as a subfloor for concrete. We also made some adjustments with the existing drainage there or the catch basins there. Now this patio was set up so the water can flow off. So I don't like to leave drain boxes or catch basins in concrete if, if necessary. We will leave them in, but in this instance, we didn't need them, but the client wanted to leave them in. So we left them in, but we had to dig them out and kind of replumb them to make sure they was nice and straight. So again, it's gonna be a part two and a possible part three. Also, I wanna thank all our new subscribers and the people that have subscribed to our channel and has continued to follow us. Uh, greatly appreciate that. I did get a phone call today from a lady down south, well, in Southern California. And uh, it's very, very positive feedback she left on a telephone message. So she has a small project down there now. We're not in the LA area, but she really wanted my input. So I just want to tell her, thank you very much. She know who she is. I don't want to put her name out here, but that's what I mean by, you know, you got to stay positive. You got to hang around people that are positive and it's cool to ask for help. So I hope this video helped you guys out and also give you an insight on what it takes to grade and get ready to pour some concrete. We do have the concrete set up for tomorrow, which is really today. And I'll have that video out next week. Now, if you're in the Sacramento Bay Area, you can hit us up. All our information is below. I appreciate you guys. Be sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you on the next one.